got a 2008 Husqvarna TE 510, fuel injected, six speed from the factory. It's got the Shiver Marcosi front forks, the Saks rear shock, recluse clutch, motorsport steering stabilizer. It's fully street legal, plated, has the rear tail light. Saks rear shock. It's got the, I believe this is a UFO aftermarket headlight with a high beam. Front fork guard right there. Radiator guards and a radiator fan on the on the other side. I believe that's aftermarket. Puppy right here. Radiator fan. Uh, Excel rims. Tires, eh, 50%, maybe 40. It's got a new battery, new front brake pads, new fork seals, including the wipers. Uh, so let's start her up. All right, so it's cold right now. Go ahead and turn the key to keyed, keyed ignition, which is cool. It also has the same key fork lock there something cool for the street so we'll go ahead and hit the start button the gas starts right up so it's got this I just found this it's also has a thing for the street it's got a high beam flash on your FTX meter uh, it also has high low beam Notice it's got your headlights on, neutral, low fuel, which I need to put some fuel in it, and then your high beam uh, indicator and your turn signal. Uh, oh, here we go. When it's on, that's your turn signal indicator as well, so you know to turn it off. Also has a horn and turn signals. This is a highway dirt bike, hand guards with the fold out mirror. It's kind of cool. Tuck it away when you're not using it. Uh, compression release motorsports steering stabilizer, which works really well. Uh, here's two anyway. Uh, the speedometer is broken, unfortunately. Now, this could be replaced with a fairly cheap, uh, I think they're endurance uh, deals. I think if you need to show that you have a backlit speedometer in, in your state, I say duct tape your phone right there and turn on the GPS and track your speed that way. So, uh, the speed. So, anyway, that's it. Oops.